sent out with a false ban wave today for 30 days. So now everyone that got sniped for playing AV gets to miss launch. Uh, hello everyone, uh, I just got my account suspended until the 6th of October. Well, I think Blizzard, uh, you know, make sure Stay Safe knows this. Blizzard has solved the problem. Uh, the queue time problem has been solved. Uh, they're gonna ban half the player base. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about these queues anymore and it's gonna be taken care of. Uh, let's take a look at what happened. Uh, hello everyone. I've had my account suspended until the 6th of October. Uh, allegedly due to non-participation in Battlegrounds. Now, I've been playing All Track Valley on my DK. Who could have guessed? Uh, on one hand, trying to pan out the PvP leveling mechanics. Also getting some nice gear once I get 60. I run the uh, fucking Icewind Bunker or Stonehearth Bunker. Those are like two different like nodes in the game. Uh, and capture it and defend it whenever I can. And if I get killed, tossed around like a ragdoll, yeah, probably by the 10 other fucking DKs that are there. Uh, no matter what I do, my damage will, of course, not be on par. I suspect players have been reporting me and other DKs. Uh, probably tired of carrying us, as in fact, what they do, but it's hard to contribute more. Well, that's, again, that's Blizzard's fault. Like, that, that is Blizzard's fault. Like, if, if, if you can queue into the game at, like, level 61, and you're queuing in with level 70s, it's not, you shouldn't be getting reported for that because you could do it. You're using a game system. You see what I'm saying? Bullshit, the guy's going AFK. Buying gold, three day ban, engaging within game systems, 30 day ban. Um, let's see what, what, what else we're seeing here. Is there anybody else? Gold's a two week ban for first defenders, but yes, it's pretty damn silly. I'm gonna be honest. Somebody who queues into a BG and they AFK the BG? I'd have no problem. I have no problem with them getting suspended. Like, I remember one time I had some guy queue into a BG with me and he had Thunder Fury on. I just wish I could have permabanned his fucking account. He caused us to lose. It was in BFA, by the way. <laughs> Flying, hacking, gold buying, stop automated moderation. Um... Me too, I started a thread here. Mods are deleting our Reddit post too. Blizzard will get into our cases. I am not AFK a single AV. I main tank Drek every game. What the fuck, man? Give me one sec. Let me make sure I'm logged in for this shit. Hopefully I get this, because I, I don't want to look this way. Why this get why this shit get deleted? Why why would it get why would it get deleted? Restricted content may be removed. Intentional misinformation. Well, how do they know it's misinformation? Bro, like, this is actually a big deal. This is actually such a big deal. Like, this is what happened. The thing is, like, I get that Blizzard wants to make it, like, fair. And they want to ban people who are bad actors. But this is not how you do it. You can't just go and ban people randomly. And also, like, let's be honest. There are a lot of people who... How many times in my ban appeals? I got banned for nothing. All I was doing is uh, expressing my opinion. And read what the opinion? Oh, I want slavery back. Ah, okay. Well, what now? We getting banned for our opinions? Oh, what? We getting banned for our opinions now? What happened to the First Amendment? So, like, I'm not gonna go and be 100% certain that these people are telling the truth. But as I said, one point doesn't mean anything. But multiple points, multiple people, that makes a line. They've got to fix this. These are people that have been probably playing the game for... A lot of these guys have been probably playing the game like 10 years. To see them get suspended before the biggest release... It's just, it's embarrassing. I caught a 30-day ban. I didn't have AFK a single BG, level 70 DK. Blizz Community Manager said if enough people think you shouldn't be defending bunkers in AV, then the ban is upheld. So like if I if I queued into an AV and I told everybody in my stream to report anybody who's defending a bunker because we're all gonna rush Drek, what do you think would happen? Like I would actually like, I don't want to test it because I, I have a generally good relationship with Blizzard right now, but like I would get, I would get banned. And like if I was Blizzard, I would ban me. I would suspend me for six months.
Yeah, I, I would 100% suspend me for six months. No, no shot. You let that happen. Absolutely not. End your chat. Yeah, anybody who's doing it too. That's just, that, that's, that's what they should do. You should defend bunkers all the time. We usually win that way. Isn't it crazy how like two people can cause a, a game to, to change? Because like you have two people that get a bunker back at the right time, and uh, you know you got one war master on one team or two, and then the other team has one. Like then you win. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's crazy. I think this is far fetched. Most of these bands probably people leveling weapon skills in harpy caves instead of participating in the BG. Well, then why are you able to level weapon skill? Why are you able to do that? Yeah, well, why are you able to do it then? So if, if, like, they take it out of the game if it's a problem. Don't put something in the game and it's like, don't eat the poison apple. Don't eat the apple of, of or the apple of wisdom and truth. Don't eat it, but it's right there. You're not supposed to eat it though. That's the first story of human nature. That people are gonna eat it. The year is 2022. That happened 2022 years ago. And here we are. Are you kidding me? What a joke. They've got to fix this. They really do. They have to fucking fix this. Holy shit. Makes me scared to do an AV now. I'll do AV. I'll do it. I got no problem. Because if I get suspended, I'll be able to get unsuspended. But like, it, that that's so dumb. That's so, so dumb. You can't level weapon skills in BGs? Let's confirm right now. Can you level your weapon skill in Alterac Valley by attacking the PvE NPCs? Can you level your weapon skin or, skill or not? Yes, you can. Okay, problem solved. And you know what my opinion is? I think if somebody goes in and they queue and level their weapon skill, they should not get suspended. They should not get suspended because Blizzard engineered that to occur. Blizzard put that in the game. Yeah, they put that in the game. They caused that to happen. There's A, B quests. Yeah, but the quest doesn't cause you to level your weapon skill either. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, I still don't think that you should be able to level your weapon skill in there. Literally everybody does that. I mean, I didn't do that. I'll tell you that. Like, you level your weapon skill on the bla on the blast of the lands NPCs like a normal person, or in stockades, go AFK with like life regen. Yeah, that was fixed. It's just you can level uh, 51 to 60 in AV. Can't do that anymore. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. I guess you try something else now. Uh, some posts similar to this are obvious. A druid uh, that would go AFK until the opposite team tried to kill the leader, then would cycle in their tank, wiping them. Um, a benefit of the doubt being assumed here. People get really passionate in AV, and they really don't like losing. Let's suspect you've been reported a bunch of times just because you aren't level 70. Exactly. It's like this is, again... Remember what I said before about, like... Oh, we in, we in, we out here. All right, so... Remember what I said before about how people, like how Blizzard engineers frustrating circumstances? Like, it's like they, they've programmed frustration into the game, and then people get punished whenever they get frustrated. I'm sorry, but I don't feel bad. I really don't. Like, it's like, it's a, it's a fucking rage, it's like a, a, a desk slam moment. Where you look around and you see that you're losing AV. And it's not one of those like, oh, you lose in six minutes, it's over things, right? This is like a 38 minute match. And you look down at the graveyard of like where nobody's supposed to be. And there's like seven level 64 death knights there. And it's like, how can you not want to report them? How do you, how do you not want to report that person? It's nuts, man. You get two friends, start mass reporting everybody who joins the dungeon, they all get 30 minute deserter. It's just, it's crazy. I was banned for 30 days doing AV. Um, what's this here? Got banned. Uh, server shield, you're a legend. What's this guy? I guess that's him, right? Or some bullshit. So he got reported, a bunch of people getting reported. Even if people are AFK, 30 days is for insanity for AFKing in a video game. 
I think that if you get, like, I think you get a 24 hour the first time, and if you do it again, you get a 30 day. I think that's fair. Like, because the first time could be a mistake. You know what I mean? Like, a first time could be a mistake. And I think also it's like a pattern of behavior. So, like, for example, if somebody AFKs 1BG, you probably don't need to suspend them. But if this person has a habit of AFKing BGs regularly, fucking suspend them. Because if you don't, everybody else is going to do the same damn thing. Because why wouldn't they? Nothing wrong with defending bases. Yeah, but whenever you defend bases, um, you have to do damage and take damage. Like, l let's not obfuscate reality here. There are a lot of people. I used to AFK all track Valley all the time. And you know why I did it? It's because I knew I wouldn't get in trouble. Yeah, I, I used to do it constantly. I, I did it in, in vanilla, BC, Wrath. I probably, I have probably AFK'd more BGs, more, a, more all track Valleys than you have played. But I wouldn't have done it if I knew I could get in trouble for it. Yeah, so I, I looked at this. I think this is a huge thing. It, it's actually a really big deal, and I, I, I'll spread awareness. This we'll probably put out a video on this. Uh, is that people getting banned for AFKing in AV is a good thing, but people getting banned for guarding towers in AV is a bad thing. It's just like there are cases where people can behave badly, and it's like, oh, I'm defending a tower. It's like, no, you're not. You're just AFKing. And there are people that actually AFK at the tower. It's totally true. But I think that Blizzard being the judge of that does worry me a lot with how many people are getting suspended and, and like it being kind of a wave. So I, I, I don't know, man. Standing up during a death timer for eight days, man. Yeah, it, it's like... I, I think that you should... There should be a certain level of common sense attached to it. And... Like, recently, Blizzard banned a bunch of people for, uh, for, for, like, buying carries. And a lot of the people that got banned didn't buy carries or sell carries or anything. Like, there was one of our friends that sold carries for real money, and he got banned. And he is still banned. Because he sold carries. That's it. Sold carries for real money, got fucking banned. However, there's a lot of other people who didn't sell carries for real money, and they got suspended anyway. So, I think it's a big problem. Same company banned you for buying gold. Uh, they banned me for RMT, yeah. I got banned for RMT, and then I had to get it overturned. You can even report enemy faction, sounds like all the griefing potential. It would have no griefing potential if it wasn't automated. The problem is that it's automated. So, Blizzard needs to make sure that whenever they do this stuff, they have like they have a lot of tools in place to make a decision on how to how to do it the right way. It's all automated, I think. I know for a fact it's automated because remember whenever and, and like it's a Blizzard wide thing. It's not just in World of Warcraft. So I, I think they're using the same system in TBC. And, and like logically, the reason why I think that is because JT, remember the the Diablo Immortal Whale guy? We we watch his videos sometimes. He said that people in his BGs, people in Diablo Immortal, were getting auto, uh, like, fucking auto-deleted, auto-suspended because of the same thing. So, you have people in another game, the same thing's happening to them. It's like the same company. I mean, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I, I, I bet it's the same thing with, with uh, Wrath. So yeah, I think they need to fix this as soon as possible. There's a lot of people that are really excited about Wrath and not letting them play the launch. I think a lot of people will just be so angry about that. They won't play the game. And I feel like a 30 day suspension, especially for like a first time offense for AFK is like really probably too much. I think it's too much. I think that it's much more fair and reasonable to give somebody a 24 hour like a 24 hour, seven day, 30 day, six month, or a 24 hour, six month, or a 24 hour, 30 day, something like that. I feel like you should not zero to 60 people like that, or zero to 30 in this case. Yeah, so uh, not even, uh, man, just BGs of that. Yeah, exactly. 30k suspended.
Uh, yeah, I, I mean, in a pre-patch where you can buy Season 4 gear for Honor. Well, no, it's like there's nothing wrong with people doing BGs, but you have to be there for the BG. And it's also, like, I think it's reasonable that, like, oh, yeah, you have an AV match that lasts for, like, 30 minutes. You're AFK for three minutes. Like, I don't think that's a big deal. I, I, I don't think that's a big deal because it's just... You, you, it's just common sense. You're gonna have people that need to walk away from the computer for a second because something happens. There's 80 people in the lobby. Yeah, what if you have to take a piss? Like, what if you have to take a shit? Like, it, it is what it is. How long would you have to have kid to get 30-day ban? I don't know. Ban for playing defense, got hit with two weeks ban or something like that because they're salty. And I do, I, I do want to acknowledge that there are people that got hit with this ban that 100% deserved it. 100 fucking percent. You're sitting there, I'm defending towers. The tower's on fire. You, It, it got captured uh, 10 minutes ago. It, it, yeah, like, what do you mean you're defending it? It's, it's, it's gone. Right? Oh, you're defending towers in the Yeti cave. Oh, wow. Whoa, man, I didn't know there's a tower out there. That's crazy. So, yeah, you're absolutely right that there are people that are 100% deserving of these suspensions. However, that's not everybody. Yeah, I, I think that they... Obviously, I think Blizzard overshot the mark. So hopefully that's what happens. Trust the information uh, you provide. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, I mean, like, I hope that Blizzard can make the right decision with this. Would you say the majority of these bans are suspend, are deserved? No. I cannot... I, there is... I don't know enough about Blizzard's... Like, non-participation in BGs is kind of a new band type thing. Because I used to I used to AFK AVs all the time. I mean, all the time. So, what is the... What is the... Uh, what is the... The the line to draw? So, I, I don't know, like, kind of where that line is, is what I'm saying. I think they can uh, walk this back some. Or do you think they will double down? I think that they will... I, I think realistically, what's probably going to happen is they will double down and then walk back individual suspension appeals. God, I feel so bad for Eric. He just messaged me back. He says it's about three hours at noon, five hours at peak times. Not too bad compared to classic vanilla launcher. He says it's not too bad. Jesus Christ, he's playing on Grobulus. He's playing on Grobulus. Oh my god. He says, not too bad. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna I'm I'm get, get back to him in a couple of weeks and see, see what he thinks.